There will be quite a few tasks today to get through, uh, some that were deferred from the spacewalk last week. Uh, one of the first ones we're going to tackle is the uh, is to finish mating an Ethernet cable, a data cable that was routed during a previous spacewalk uh, to help integrate the, the U.S. segment uh, of the station with the newly arrived MLM. Uh, that'll be a redundant path. Uh, providing uh, data for any future payloads and also a redundant data path for the European robotic arm. So in this diagram, you can see the, the Ethernet cable connector plate. They're going to be moving down there uh, to install that uh, and integrate MLM additionally. We'll have another patch cable that will run between uh, the, the new laboratory module and the service module, and that will get installed a little bit later on today's spacewalk. Uh, they're also going to be redirecting an external monitoring unit. Um, it's uh, mainly used for uh, inspecting any plume impingement. All of the primary thrusters on the space station are located on the Russian segment. And as you use propellant in space, it does have the potential to leave a residue or um, interact with the surfaces on the outside of the station. So this is just a monitoring unit already installed that they're going to reorient for future uh, any operations. They have a number of bridge handrails, uh, essentially gap spanners, you may hear them called. Uh, these are just handrails that will be installed along the outside of the MLM uh, to assist in translation or just moving around during future spacewalks at launch. Without these handrails, now they're being installed just to uh, assist in uh, any future spacewalks by these cosmonauts. Again, we, we're going to have about a dozen, uh, just shy of a dozen total, to do all of the outfitting of uh, the MLM module. Um, and so this will assist in all their future endeavors. They're going to be routing a number of cables today. So the, that first one, that Ethernet cable, um, they're also going to be connecting uh, some cables for the TV system uh, between the Russian service modules, Vesda and MLM, uh, to integrate their two TV, their video systems. Uh, they'll also be routing and connecting a cable between the cores units. So the cores is used for the automated rendezvous and docking of the Russian Progress spacecraft, the cargo craft. Uh, they'll be connecting a cable between uh, the service module and uh, the MLM uh, to um, to integrate the two, and that will uh, assist in uh, the handoff that happens during the final approach of those progress vehicles as we'll be using MLM as a docking uh, target in the not-too-distant future. Uh, aside from that, they're also going to be installing a platform with some adapters on the outside of uh, the MLM that will be able to host any payloads in the future. Um, so that'll be one of the final tasks. Also, uh, one of the tasks that was deferred from last week, installing the bio-risk biological specimen containers outside of the POISC module. These will be three containers that contain different samples that's exposing them to the vacuum of outer space um, to just determine their, um, their feasibility in that really harsh environment. Uh, the bio-risk also looking at things uh, like potential contamination, and we'll go through the study a little bit later. Um, and then one final task, again, time permitting, they'll just take survey photos of the Russian segment in the exterior. Uh, we'll see them taking photos quite a bit throughout the day as they continue to attach all of these cables, uh, usually taking photos of the final attachment point. And those all get shared with engineers down on the ground for a final review to make sure everything looks good. And we'll have a couple of connectivity tests throughout the day of the spacewalk as well. Um, as they get all of these different cables attached.